Thank you. I didn't have to ask. Oh. 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 So I guess I'm going to have to, to kind of skip the prepared speech, which actually I didn't write anyway. Uh, this is the culmination of eight years of some pretty hard work. And it wasn't just by Fable West or past board members or, or uh, uh, committee members or anybody else. There's so many people out here that, uh, that did this. We started this off with five, five negotiators and myself. I was the chief negotiator. Uh, sitting in the audience right now, I see Carol Chapman, who was one of them. Lorraine Kennett was another. Uh, Dick Sobdy, who's gone. Lenny Penn, who passed away. And Bob Berman, the curmudgeon, who's still here. <laughs> and I think the first in indication that this was going to happen was at a city council meeting. When some guy that nobody ever knew got up and asked for a continuance, and we managed to get it. Right, Andy? <laughs> <laughs> could have interfered but what we wanted to do is located uh, differently differently meaning where we could see something besides the city so we located it where we could see the Black Mountain so we designed this facility they've been supporters of all the activities and milestones here in Sun City Anthem as well as many of our residents in Sun City Anthem not only volunteer here but volunteer and support many activities of the city of Henderson so it's with great pleasure that I introduce to you Mayor Andy Hafen. Short, sweet, hard to beat. This, as the young people say, is awesome. <laughs> and not once have you done it, not twice you've done it, but three times. Three wonderful rec centers up here in Sense of the Anthem. And I'm telling you, I, it, to me, it, you, can, you just cease to amaze me at what you all accomplish, accomplish up here. And the accolades really shouldn't go to the city, but it should go to you and, and the board. And I know you had your challenges over the years, but we're here today. And so on behalf of myself, Councilwoman March and Councilwoman Children, we want to give you this certificate of congratulations to the Liberty Center, Sun City Anthem. And I don't know if it'd be appropriate to maybe have all the, the board, uh, past board presidents and Jack come on up and let me present it to you. And yeah. I'd like to get a picture with you. <laughs> Members of the Nevada Congressional Delegation were invited to join us today. Several had other obligations in Washington that uh, made it impossible for them to join us. We do have uh, with us today Susan Peterson, who's here representing <coughs> Dina Titus, uh, and she has a presentation for the community. Today, on behalf of Congresswoman Titus, um, she is in D.C. She gets here later this evening. She was hoping to be here earlier today so she could attend this special event, uh, but she wanted me to extend uh, her heartfelt appreciation and thank you to all of you who uh, made this happen. This truly is um, a work of art. It's uh, absolutely gorgeous, and I look forward to uh, taking the tour and, and seeing what all is inside. So on behalf of Congresswoman Titus, I'd like to present this special certificate of special congressional recognition presented to the Liberty Center Sun City Anthem in recognition of your grand opening. Thank you. Welcome to Liberty Center. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, join us for a tour. Kevin 
Wallace, you're the president of RMI. Your, your staff's going to be managing this building. What do you think of it? It's a beautiful building. It's quite an accomplishment uh, right. from all of us. Congratulations. It's, been, it's a great accomplishment. Thank you. This is so good. It's a culmination of a lot of work, buddy, I gotta tell you. Wow. Good job. These people down here don't even know that that was a golf course. Oh, it was at one time? Was that the... Uh, it was going to be third and fourth golf course. Third and fourth? Yeah. Wow. We're located at this... At this yeah. Over yeah. the retention center. Yeah. So we moved it down here where we still have access to the, the trail. You see the black yeah. mountain trail there? Yeah, sure. It goes all the way up. Yeah. We wanted to have access to the trail. The day before I was a little boy, you... Mayor Hafen, what do you think of our new recreation center? As I said earlier, it's totally awesome. <laughs> it's quite a piece of work, isn't it? It is. I My think... congratulations to everybody involved with this. I know it was a long time coming, but uh, I'll tell you, you guys are the envy of the whole community. Thank you. This is a waterless urinal. Uh -huh. Do not ask me how it works. We're in the men's room, and Michael Wolf will now demonstrate how to get water out of the sink. Very impressive. Did any medium show up? <laughs> These fitness machines all have individual television screens for every person. This should be a popular feature. I'm here with fitness manager Meg Paulson. Uh, Meg, uh, I have some questions about this wonderful equipment in this room. It looks like every piece of equipment has its own television screen. Uh, what's the deal with that? Well, we wanted to make sure that we had individual TVs so our residents could get a workout, watch television, enjoy the workout with their own TV station. We're starting out with eight channels. We may add more depending on the use of the televisions. And we're very excited about it. I think it will go over well. That's really great. Thank you, Meg. You're welcome. We're looking at one of the multi-purpose, I guess, aerobics room. It's divided in half. This half has some uh, pretty good cabinet storage and then the wall in the middle, the dividing wall, can be removed and open it up into the second room. You can see me there in the mirror. So it's a fairly small room. It looks larger with the mirrors, but it'll accom accommodate a variety of functions. We're in the conference room. There's a drop-down screen, beautiful tables and chairs. This should get a lot of use for different purposes. And for private meetings, I think they're going to need to cover the doors, but that's okay. Deborah March, you're our city councilor for this area. What do you think of this new facility? What an incredible LEED certified building. I understand this is LEED Gold, and boy, it's state of the art, and this community is so fortunate to have had the, put this building up and to have it as a resource for all its residents. Thank you. Excited. We're in the multi purpose rooms, have been opened up to be three rooms. and. Uh, the guests today for the grand opening ceremony are having their lunch. Uh, we're here with Karen Carrero, our community manager, and Chris Wood, assistant cam. Uh, what, do you, what do you folks think of the building? I think the building is beautiful. I agree. It's a wonderful building. 
that should be pretty popular with the residents out there. I think so. A lot of things they can do up here.